guys. Um, I'm outside, dressed up for fun. Um, got my creepy little statues behind me. Got my outfit on. I'm going to move away from houses uh, so I can have a little bit of privacy. I just wanted a different background um, to make a video instead of the usual, usual. So, um, <laughs> this totally isn't far, but hopefully it's not with an earshot. You can see the shadow of my selfie stick. Um, so anyway, uh, I was just going to make this random video. Um, oops, 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 oops. I'm trying to put my remote control back and it's taking photos on accident. Um, anyway, um, so I was going to make this random. <coughs> uh, <coughs> sorry. This random video, and it was just going to be a quick little video on my bed. And then I was like, I'm really bored and I feel like dressing up. So I kind of got dressed, threw on a long black wig and took photos and I'm hoping that the neighbors aren't uh, looking through the windows or anything. I mean, it's like one or two in the morning, but it's Guy Fox. Uh, and so everybody's out getting drunk and doing fireworks and stuff. And so chances of somebody around me being awake are quite high today, but that's the chance I'm going to have to take. So this video is in response to a new surge of people coming to me about lolcal. And I know, I know, lolcal, lolcal, I'm sorry. Um, but no, it's okay. It's all right, trust me. Um, people have asked me, oh, update this, oh, say this, make a video about that. Uh, you should talk about this, you should talk about that. And, oh, check out this new link, can you share it? Can you this and this and that? And, um, uh, oh, did you know that they're still talking about you? Yada, 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 and it's like, um, okay. Thank you guys for letting me know these things. I know that they're talking about me. I mean, it's, they're never going to stop. It's like asking the sun to stop shining or the wind to stop blowing or, you know, night to stop coming. It's never going to happen. They are never going to stop. It's my life. This is my life now. I've accepted it. So it's not a big deal to me. It's cool. You know, they have no life. They hover and hang on mine. That's fine, really, you know, honestly. As far as um, uh, sharing stuff, if you want me to help you either conversation-wise or, um, you know, reporting stuff, you can private message me or email me and I'll follow your links and see what I can do to help that way. But I don't really want to make videos about Lolcow updating anything unless it's major like they got shut down or Josh Moon was arrested or something like that. I don't want to just make update videos because I'm when I talk about them I'm trying to spread a very specific message and if I just constantly report 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 then people are going to start ignoring those videos and when I do have something really important to say it's not going to get heard. It's going to get ignored um, and lost in the locale thing. My channel is my channel made for me. It's not made for locale. And I really hate to say it, but you know, um, everybody's picking on Joshua. But it's not just him. Um, it's And I'm not saying he's off the hook by any means, because he's not. It's his fucking site. But you, you know, you need to spread blame equally and every single person that's a member of that site that takes part in the bullying that laughs at others for fun that picks and picks and pesters or wants to see somebody commit suicide they are all equally to blame it's not just Joshua and I feel like there's kind of like a witch hunt for this one person when he's not 100% responsible all these other people are being ignored as if they're not at fault but you know what they are just as much at fault as he is and Really, if you think about it, who's one here? You know, yeah, I know that they watch everything. You know, I didn't think that they kind of still were hovering that much because I haven't heard anything from them. 
but um oh god damn it take a picture again sorry um fucking remote uh but apparently they still are apparently they watch every video that i post and they hang on every word i say so i haven't visited the site since god i don't even remember when the last time was i'm sure i made a video about it saying that i saw the stuff that they were saying and i saw that they were on it again and i never went back and that's true i have not gone back i haven't paid any attention i haven't followed any links i really don't care um it's funny though because uh the last thing i did see was on on a thread they were saying like do you think that she's really smart enough to say things to get people to click on her videos to get us to watch is she clever enough to drop information here and there just to get us to pay attention and um yes yes i am that clever <laughs> i know what to say in my videos i know how to word stuff i know how to title and how to leave thumbnails that's gonna make them watch um i figure if they're gonna do it anyway i might as well have a little fun they are very simple-minded and they're very easy to play with. Like for instance, I had said I expected them to come to my page on my birthday and give me hassle. Um, ugh, ugh, I lost my contact up my eye. Did you guys just see that? I don't know where the fuck that went. How creepy is that? There it is. That is not good. There it goes. Ooh, has that ever happened to you guys? It's quite dry. The wind's blowing out here and it's just really dry. Uh, anyway, um, so, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I had mentioned my birthday because, one, I wanted to just mention it in case they came to let them know that I know what they're capable of. I know what they might do. My second reason, which I didn't tell anybody except for those really close to me, was that if I took all their fun away from them, their plan, they just might not do it because I'm expecting it, therefore they wouldn't come and abuse me and ruin my birthday, which also happened. So I don't know if they didn't come to me because it just doesn't affect me anymore. I don't know if they didn't come to me because I called them out before they could do it. I don't know what the reason is, but in the end, I won because they didn't come. Uh, I was prepared for it, but they didn't come. Um, I do know how to play them and I do play them quite often as I can see from my view count going up and uh the comments people have dropped to me saying oh did you know they've got screenshots of this and this and this um i know exactly what they're doing and they're playing right into my hands they're playing into my hands not the other way around uh i have not been to their stupid site and i have not had anything to do with them they are too chicken shit now to come directly to me and abuse me because it just doesn't bother me anymore. Um, they can't get to me anymore, so what they do is they keep it to the site. They talk shit on the site, but they dare not come after me anymore. And even if they did, it wouldn't change anything. I mean, I know what a block button is, and I have more than enough support, and I've got more than enough internal strength now that they will never have that power over me again. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that out of this whole situation, I've won because... I live my life. I do what I want to do. I I just live and they don't control me. They don't control what I do, what I say, what I post, what I wear, none of that. Um, I don't hang on their every word. I don't give them any more attention than, you know, a mild thought here or there uh, when I need to, like, say if I'm going to make a video and I, I, I know just what to say to get them to watch it or... Um, when somebody tells me about them. Um, otherwise, they don't cross my mind on a day-to-day -day basis. They don't cross my mind, but I cross their mind, and I know I do. So the fact that they're hung up on my every move means beyond all reasonable doubt, I've won, I've got a hold on them. They don't have a hold on me. So yay me, and um, yeah, so please keep or please stop coming to me and telling me about them or asking me to make videos about them bringing up stuff i help you understand why i don't want to do it i'm not going to play into this back and forth back and forth back and forth anymore and i mean really like oh fucking photo again i've got my whole life ahead of me you know i know i'm old but i mean i can do anything i can be anything i i, I can do whatever i want 
Joshua, on the other hand, with his name connected to Lolcal, unless he changes his name and hides his identity, from what I've been reading online, um, and he's quite young, his options are quickly being closed to him because he's associated with a hate site that mocks and makes fun of disabled people or whatever and has been directly or indirectly the cause of at least one death, probably more, possibly more coming, who knows, and his career path in the future is going to be really cut down for him. If anybody links any of the stuff to him, a lot of businesses aren't going to want to be associated with him. So he's fucking up his own future. You know, it's like these, these jerks think that they're screwing with everybody else. But in reality, they're kind of just fucking up their own lives. And meanwhile, us, us out here, we're just doing our thing and we're not the ones that are hung up on other people. They are. And it's best not to give them more of a thought than you need to. I choose to give them, uh, you know, my thoughts uh, because it suits me when it suits me. Um, and it's a really fun game that I play. I really enjoy it and I'm not going to stop anytime soon. So things that I say, things that I show, um, a lot of the time I do it because I know that they're going to react to it. And uh, that's just my own kind of middle finger up, up their asses for everything they've put me through. They want something to watch, then I give them something to watch. Um, but even if they weren't around, which, you know, uh, even if they closed down, another site would pop up and another, 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 another. You'll never stop it. Uh, Cyberbullying and cyberstalking and all that. It's the wave of the future. It's here. It's here to stay and nobody's going to get rid of it. No matter how many laws they pass, it's never going to go away. So you have to grow and move with the world. You can't fight against it. You can't expect change is going to happen because it's not. Um, there are more than just that site out there. There's a lot of sites and there's one specifically for big YouTubers. And I mean, there's, there's just, there's so many clones of that site out there. You you are never, ever going to get away from it. So I, I fully have the, uh, the expectation that there are more sites out there talking about me and you can't let it get to you. You can't let it control your life. You can't let it get you down. You've got to just live and know that you're doing something right because they are obsessed. They are like your biggest fucking fan. And that's fine by me. Um, you know, I mean, they're flattering me in their own way. And they like to say that they hate me. I would think that they hate me, but they must like wake up every day and then sit there and just stalk my every move. And it's like, I barely have enough time to talk to the people I know, much less stalk people I don't know. So how empty are their lives? Like, fuck, even I couldn't do that to the level that they're doing it. It's a little bit ridiculous and a whole lot pathetic. So really, you guys should just feel sorry for them. Just think of, of how lonely and unloved they are and how cool you are how great you are, how good you're doing, and how much you're pissing them off just by living and having fun. And just live and have fun, and and your time will come. And uh, nobody can ever take that away from you, no matter what they do. And I know, because they've tried with me, and look at me now, you know? So, um, I hope you guys can understand my viewpoint on this. Sorry for bringing them up again, but... Like I said lately, there's just been so many people coming to me. It was time to say, look, I'm not going to do it. I'm very sorry. Um, but I am aware of what's going on. I'm not blind to it. Never have been, never will be. Well, sorry. I was at the beginning before I knew they existed. But once I found out they existed, I will never be blind to it again. Um, but that doesn't mean it controls my life because it doesn't. I control my own life and I'm nobody's puppet. Nobody's going to push my strings, tell me when to die. Tell me what I should do, how I should grow up, what my name should be, what clothes I should wear, how old I should act, how old I should look. Fuck all that bullshit. You know, I do my makeup the way I want. I weigh what I want to weigh. I marry who the fuck I want. If I want to adopt a billion kids, I'd adopt a billion kids or cats or dogs or what the fuck ever. It doesn't matter. It's my life and I'm the only one living it. So that's all I have to say about that. Um, the rest of you guys... Uh, Love you guys. You guys are awesome. And thanks for watching and listening. And take care. And I hope to see you around again. <laughs> Bye.